That's true because when you when you're in computer science, a lot of these basic fundamental problems have largely been solved, right? Yeah. Like bubble sort, right? I'll pick on bubble yeah. sort, right? But like uh, with quantum computing, no. I mean, we're still early enough where they're naming things after the researchers who find them, right? So there's Shor's algorithm, Grover's yeah. algorithm, right? Uh, I don't know. Like, you know, maybe there'll be Patel's algorithm, right? Like, I mean, it's <laughs> totally, it's totally within. But in you know, in, in traditional computer science, I think those days are probably over. But yeah. in quantum computing science, like, I mean, I say that in jest, but it's totally possible, right? Like, yes. Yeah. You know, I think that's exciting, right? Like it, you, we it really is, are in the yeah. frontier and, you know, the frontier is exciting, but it's also kind of like, oh, no one's done these fundamental things yet, you know? Yeah, definitely. There's a lot more opportunities to sort of do, uh, like you could just come up with a completely different sort of background slash mindset. And all of a sudden you just have like, just thought of something that no one else has before. And because we are so early in this field, um, it would be like, oh, you just stumble across a new New, new algorithm and yeah maybe like eventually as you mentioned maybe it gets named after you right it's totally totally believable it which just is exciting seems, yeah 